Meet real-life Rapunzel, Terilyn Sevik Lessig Russell, whose hair is an incredible 74 inches long. The mum of five has been growing her locks all her life and her daughters Callan, Kendalyn and Chesney are following in her footsteps. Today they have more than 13 feet of hair between them and grooming can prove a mammoth task. The girls use as much as a quarter of a bottle of conditioner each time they wash their manes. My daughters shampoo their hair in the shower um, and I will stand there with the handheld sprayer. I, however, do not shampoo my hair in the shower. I tried that once several years ago and my hair got so heavy with all of the water, I landed on the shower floor. Terilyn says it was her well-groomed hair which first attracted husband Chip when the pair were teenagers. She had amazing hair, which was something was, it was very eye-catching, appealing to me. And the family put their best assets to good use, winning awards at long hair competitions in their home state of Illinois, USA. These are some of the ribbons that I have gotten over the last 15 or so years, and it's become quite the tradition every August for us to go to the state fair. Despite their hair obsession, none of the family have ever been to a hair salon, but that's about to change. Today they're paying their first ever visit, but instead of chopping their long locks, they've settled for a day of pampering and treatments. I think this long hair is amazing. I've never seen this much long hair in one room. The hair is so healthy all the way to the floor. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. So this is a new experience. I've never been to a salon before. It's a little painful, but it's Are you kind okay? Of oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Six-year-old Chesney has already said she wants to shorten her mane by as much as 10 inches, but hasn't plucked up the courage just yet. How much are you cutting off? Uh, 10 inches. You are? But not today. Not today. Chesney is ready to have her hair trimmed, a little bit more than a trim. I think there are days when she says, Mom, it's too long. I want my hair short and that's all there is to it. And then there's days when we talk about it seriously. No, I want my hair long, Mom. And Terilyn may have had a lifetime of long locks, but she says she won't force her daughters to grow their hair forever. It's not gonna be my decision, it's gonna be theirs, but I want them to be mature enough to make that decision for themselves.